So as we move through this series of videos, we're going to primarily be talking about career planning. Now, the difference between jobs and careers are that jobs are all the things that you do along the way as you build your career. And so you're going to gain experience and you're going to gain knowledge and skills with each job that you have. And so as we're looking at figuring out what job and what career do I want to have in the long run, I want you to think about skills that you have um, and also interests and what do you value. Okay, and so on a piece of paper, go ahead and take a moment and write down four to five things that you do really well. Um, and then also two to three things that really interest you because that's going to help shape the type of job and career that you're going to go after. All right, the next thing we're going to look at is the value. So I want you to answer these questions as we go through them. So which do you value more? Do you want to own your own business or work in someone else's business? And so each one of these are unique to each one of the students that are in this class. Everyone has a different value system. So do you want to work in a large group or do you want to work in a small group? And so all of these are questions that things you can ask yourself to figure out what is going to sh how is going to shape the career that you're going to go after. Do you want to work individually or do you want to work with a team? I mean, chances are you're technically going to be working in a team regardless unless you are seriously owning and operating and running your business all by yourself. Um, so you're going to be working in some type of a team, but some teams are going to be larger than others. Do you want coworkers that are similar to you or coworkers that are not similar to you? Um, you know, what, what makes the environment more comfortable for you? Do you want freedom and autonomy, which basically means to make your own decisions, or do you want very specific direction and close supervision to make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing? So which one do you value more? Do you value managing the details or just shaping the overall big picture? So do you want to look at the very minute details or do you want to look at the big picture and help shape that? Which do you want to do? Do you value having a stable long-term career with one organization or do you want a fast-paced career with a variety of companies or even just a variety of businesses? So in hospitality, we have a great opportunity because Hospitality is a global business, and so if you have that ability and that desire to move, um, then you can move up the management ladder a little bit quicker um, if you are willing to relocate, um, whether it's with the same organization, same hotel company, same restaurant company, whatever. Um, if you have that ability and that desire, then you, know, you might have different experiences and gain a more well-rounded experience for to help you with the future um, of your career. All right, do you, can, do you like the consistency of daily work and pace or do you want a variety of work and changing pace? So some people like that nine to five and they're gonna go in, they know exactly what to expect. And some people like that it's, sometimes it's busier than others and sometimes we have some slower periods. And so it depends on what your preference is, um, what you value kind of will shape what career you're going to go after. So living in one area for an extended period of time or frequently relocation, that kind of goes back to that other question we talked about. Do you want that Monday to Friday with few weekends and no holidays, or do you want to work when necessary, including weekends and holidays? Now, ideally, I think most of us would select letter A, but again, our industry, hospitality, is almost like hotels for example are open 24 hours a day 365 days a year restaurants uh, may not be open 24 hours a day some are but they are also most times of the year so weekends and holidays are when we are the busiest and so if that you really want a monday to friday with very few weekends and no holidays there are specific jobs within the industry that you can get, but for the most part, you're going to be working when it's ever it's necessary, which includes weekends and holidays. 
So which do you value more, managing a crisis or planning a strategy? So managing a crisis, something that's just happened, so you're reactive, or you want to plan a strategy in advance to try to avoid that from happening. And so again, this can be, this can guide you in the career choices that you're making. So if you have not done already, go ahead and pause and take the true color personality test that's provided um, with that link. And so essentially what's going to happen with this is it's going to put you in one or two of these categories um, of, of how you, um, how basically how we work and what your personality is like. In this industry, we work with a variety of different people. Okay, we've talked about diversity in the previous chapter. Um, and so understanding your personality color, um, you know, there's a variety of different personality tests. One of the more po uh, popular ones is the Myers-Briggs um, personality test, which kind of creates 16 different types of personalities and how they all relate and work together. Um, but I like this one because it makes it very simple. It's um, these four colors is kind of um, easy to identify. And so if you are a blue color personality, that means you're emotionally driven and you want to make sure that everybody in the group is working together. Um, oftentimes blues are very enthusiastic and they're very creative. Um, they can also be very sympathetic. So you can see why somebody at the front desk of a hotel would be good um, to be a blue because they are sympathetic to guests needs, they're enthusiastic, okay? And so we wanna make sure that the people within our organization possibly as best as possible to um, create teams that have a variety of these different personalities all together, okay? So if you're gold, that means you're very loyalty, loyalty driven. So your value might be to work with one specific company for a long period of time. Um, you also might be very organized. Uh, now, again, we are going to have our personalities are going to have characteristics from each of these categories, possibly, um, but there's going to be one predominant color that's going to stand out. Okay, um, with oranges, they like the change and the variety, so they might be kind of going back to our change from the very first chapter. They might be those champions, those people that are are willing to accept change that are going to be happening. Um, they also can be very competitive, um, adventurous, and impulsive. Um, so I personally am definitely an orange. Um, I know that about myself. And, um, and so it's really important that as we are working with other people around us, we know how our personality fits in. Um, if you're green, then you're very logically driven, okay? You're looking at the details. Um, you are very focused. You're also very efficient because a lot of times you take the time to think about the project beforehand before you actually do it. So for example, if I'm working with somebody who is, in a, green, who is a green in a group project, I'm very impulsive. I'm very short-term driven, and so I want to get this thing done. Whereas somebody who's green is going to stop and look at, think about the details before they actually even begin doing the work. So I might think that that person's just lazy and not doing anything, but in reality, their personality style is they have to process all the details before they can get started. Whereas me as an orange, I just want to jump in and get it done. And so we have to understand how our personalities work together okay and so I like this slide I'm not gonna go through each one of these um, independently that would take way too much time on this video but I would like you to you can pause the video and you can look at the screen um, identify which color you are um, and see if the values um, and these different characteristics the strengths um, the things that you find joy in um, and things that you need match up to these um, these different colors. And then think about also people who have these different personalities. So again, um, I'm the doer, I'm the orange. So I like unstructured environments. I like the freedom. I like to have fun. I need to have that in order to feel um, energized about going to work. 
Whereas those greens, they need time to process um, and they need that time to, to work by themselves, okay? Um, the blues are the feelers. They're the ones who are kind of emotional. So, um, you know, they, they need kindness. So how we give direction to someone who's a blue might be different from someone how we give direction to someone who's a gold, okay? Um, so we might have to be just a little bit more sensitive. Um, we can still say, say the same message and still get the same thing across, but we might just need to, um, to make sure that we are in tune to the different personality styles, okay? Um, so take a moment, look at this, and see if everything that you think of um, about yourself is matches up with this personality test. Now, it may not be 100% perfect, but it kind of gives you a framework to, to work around.